and the artists who will be playing at Wrigley Field this summer is... Ooh, Katy Perry, Katy Perry, Katy Perry! The legendary Billy Joel! What the fu- Hey, I'm Sean, and I guess this is another Red Eye Rundown. Seriously, Billy Joel, what year is it? Son of a bitch! First up, we start with cartoon penises. <laughs> the Cubs unveiled their new mascot, Clark the Cub, this week, saying it was designed as a, quote, ambassador for children. And just minutes later, the internet was found photoshopping dicks on it. To which the Cubs office responded how disgusted they were with that behavior. Uh, hey Chicago Cubs organization, how dare you assume your fans would be more mature than that? Your field is located in Wrigleyville, a neighborhood literally designed to get people drunk for an experience extremely small amount of money. And also, a cute little bear with an exposed penis should be the least of your worries. How about you focus on, oh, I don't know, that rotation, or bullpen, or hitting core? Wait, 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 you do realize that just creating a mascot doesn't mean you can just play baseball into October, right? Right, right. Next up, Chi-Town native Chief Keefe announced the Bang 3 release. The mixtape is due out March 3rd, according to Keefe's Twitter post. And now, as somebody without any swagger, cool factor, or style whatsoever, However, I will read Keefe's tweet. <clears throat> it's official. We finna drop bang three on three three on y'all ni- Oh, bad word. Um, all right, next part, next part, next part. Me and at the Larry Jackson in here putting them finishing touches on it. We coming. First video on week of Feb. Well, who needs grammar when you got stacks, am I right? <laughs> I don't want to smell you, because I'm going to cut you off quicker than I met you. Well, anywho, the Oscar nominations were announced, and nine movies are up for Best Picture. And exactly zero of those nine are Kumba in 3D, with voice work by Liam Neeson. I will find you, and I will kill you. No, 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 come on, man. I was just making a joke. I was making a joke. You're a very particular set of skills. In other news, the planned Uptown Sonic restaurant opening has been delayed until March because of all this bad weather. You know what, Sonic? If you're going to keep playing these commercials in Chicago and dangle popcorn chicken and cherry limeades in front of our faces like this, we're going to freaking lose it. Well, speaking of having the munchies, $170,000 worth of pot brownies and candy were recovered by Chicago officials from a 25-year-old's house in Humboldt Park. <laughs> that is so much marijuana and so much more brownie mix. Rumor has it that the Chicago drug and baked good enthusiast was just trying to impress his friend, Willy Wonka, who bet him that he couldn't make $200,000 worth of pot-infused Wonka bars. He fell just short of his goal, sparking Wonka to deliver the bad news to him personally. You lose! Good day, sir! So that's what you need to know from this week. Thanks for watching your Red Eye Rundown, and I guess if you can't beat them, join them.